Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply um, two radical expressions and or simplify um, or multiply and then to simplify. So the important thing we need to understand here is that the square root of the radical of any expression times the square root of the other one is equal to the square root of a times b. So therefore when we're multiplying radical expressions we can just multiply um, multiply terms under one radical expression. So therefore by multiplying I now have square root of 5 times 10, which is just equal to the square root of 50. Now we want to go and look into simplifying this. And the way that I always like to simplify is using my squared numbers. You can always use go back to prime factorization. But we, we know that in this case that um, 50 is not a square number. So we want to go and look at our square numbers, which would be 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and 100. I'll go and use uh, those basic numbers and see. All right, what is the largest one? Of, what is the largest of my square numbers that evenly divides into 50? And you just kind of go up there and you say, oh, 25 goes in there. So I can now rewrite this. So even though I multiply them, now I'm going to rewrite this as a product as 25 times 2. And hopefully you can agree with me that 5 times 10 is equal to square or sorry 5 times 10 is equal to 50 which is equal to 25 times 2. It's just different ways of writing them. But the important about writing it this way is now I know what the square root of 25 is. The square root of 25 is just 5 because that's a perfect square number. However, I do not know the square root of 2, so I'm going to leave that as is. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that is how uh, you simplify a radical expression with multiplication. Thanks.